Our top news for tonight. Sarawak Premier not afraid of criticism and discordant voices. RTC Mungulalang will be upgraded, providing comfort to local residents. Sarawak delegations visit Toronto to benchmark best practices of gold mining sector. Surian becomes 10th stop for Sarawak Sukma and Para Sukma 2024 baton relay. Surian Convention Centre ready to host artistic gymnastics for Sukma 2024. Assalamualaikum and good evening. Sarawak Premier Dato Patinggi Tan Sri Dr Abang Abdul Rahman Zohari Tun Dato Abang Openg reaffirmed once again that he will not be intimidated or bothered by any discordant voices attempting to undermine him, especially as Sarawak achieves rapid development under his leadership. He emphasised that criticism directed at him do not deter him. Instead, he continues to work diligently towards advancing Sarawak's progress by 2030. Therefore, he urged the people of Sarawak not to be influenced by instigations or envy from external parties, but to remain focused on developing the state together with the leaderships in the Sarawak government. Jadi kita ini kerja saja. Ketua masyarakat, konselor kita kerja. Jangan peduli hal orang luar. Yang kini itu ada memang menang, kalinya jeles. The key. Negeri lain ni ada pendapatan 13 bilion. Ni ada campur semua negeri ya si dapat ngalah Sarawak. Campur semua. Sebab kita kerja kuat. Kita kerja. Rezeki si ada datang bergolek. Rezeki hanya datang kita kerja kuat. Hari itu kita kerja kuat, kita melihatlah. He said this during his speech at the Ngiling Bidai ceremony in Gedong district at RTC Mungulalang here on Sunday. The Gedong assemblyman added that he is grateful for his good health, enabling him to continue contributing to Sarawak's development for its people. He clarified that good health also allows him to lead Sarawak effectively while constantly seeking avenues for its advancement. Ini Tuhan beri pada saya. Jadi kita kerja saja, elas, mau tolong orang, Tuhan tolong kita. Saya sehat kerana tu, dapat jauh saya jalan-jalan, pergi ke Australia, pergi ke Poland, pergi ke Bangkok, ngajar orang, pelakar dengan orang, bangunkan negeri Sarawak. During the event, the Sarawak Premier alongside other dignitaries also participated in the Ngetas Ranyai ritual and the Simlik Ngiling Bidai ceremony as part of the event's inauguration. At the same event, the Premier of Strava also revealed that the Rural Transformation Centre, RTC, Mugulalang, will be upgraded to provide comfort to local residents. Dato Patinggi Abang Zohari said these considerations was made as the area currently lacks sufficient space to host large events. Saya kata... Boleh lah. Kalau ada tempat tanah. Kalau dia nak sabit, you cari tanah. Kita boleh dah kita mula balai yang lebih besar dari tu Untuk kawasan tu lah. Supaya kita dapat berjumpa. Ada kahwin apa indah senang di situ. Dan kita besarkan lah kawasan kita tu Sikit lah makin pekemah ke tak ya. He hopes that the upgrading project can commence early next year so that the people of Gedong can benefit from it. Explaining further about the funding for this project, Datuk Patinggi Abang Zohari stated that the state government is ready to allocate the funds considering Sarawak's current strong financial position. Raga, ah, ada lah. Ada dikit uh, penawatan. Beri balik dengan orang situ lah. Malah eh, Dewan Baru. Chibiri Premier of Sarawak, Datuk Amar Awang Tengah Ali Hassan, led the Sarawak delegations for a benchmark visit to Mikasa Gold Mine located in Kirkland, Toronto recently. Among the biggest gold mines with the highest grade in the world, the visit aims to benchmark best practices of gold mining. The delegates were briefed, among others, on the sustainability and ESG management. They shared their visions and mission on mining and how they adhered to industry's sustainability standards. Apart from that, the delegates were also briefed on mining protocol, 
that is towards sustainable mining, which is a globally recognized sustainability program that supports mining companies in managing key environmental and social responsibilities. During the visit, the delegations toured the underground mining and gold milling operations, observing the various advanced techniques and technologies, including automations and digitalizations, to enhance efficiency, safety, and sustainability. Gold mining in Sarawak has a long history dated back to the 1800s, which then ceased operations in 1997 due to low market price. Based on the estimates of Geomapping Survey, there are commercially viable gold deposits, which is estimated at 3.3 million ounces to be mined. Currently, a Canadian company listed in the Australian Stock Exchange is exploring the potential of gold in Bau area since 2010. During the visit, Datuk Mawang Tengah said he welcomes investors and the company to Sarawak to explore the opportunities, particularly in mining. The Syrian divisions became the 10th stopover for the Baton Relay in conjunction with the 21st Malaysian Games and Parasukma 21, Sarawak 2024. The Baton Run event in Syrian was attended by more than 900 participants, which was held at the grounds of the state government office complex, Syrian, on Sunday. The flag off of the run was completed by the Deputy Minister of Food Industry, Commodity and Regional Development of Sarawak and Kedup Assemblyman Dato Martin Ben. Various programs were held as early as 7 am, such as Arabics, followed by the Baton relay of 4.05 km, led by two Sarawak sports icons, namely former national women's hockey athlete Lisa Ludong and national bodybuilding champion Buddha Anja. The event continued with Sarawak's Minister of Education, Innovation and Talent Development and Tarat Assemblyman Dato Sri Roland Sagahwiin to complete the Sarawak Sukma 21 Baton handover ceremony, which was presented by the two Sarawak sports icons. Meanwhile, Dato Sri Roland Saga said Srian Convention Center SEC is all set to host the artistic gymnastics event during the 21st Malaysian Games Sukma Sarawak 2024 this coming August. The Tarot Assemblyman stated that a total of 14 medals will be contested in this event. He informed that all preparations have been completed and they are now awaiting the arrival of the athletes. Meanwhile, Deputy State Secretary, Operations and Chief Executive Officer of Sukma Sarawak 2024, Dato He Chang Ki, mentioned that 200 athletes along with 200 technical volunteers will be staying in Surian. And that's the English edition with me, Shari Malik. More news can be found in our official portal, ukas.sarawak.gov.my and social media platforms including Facebook and YouTube. We end tonight's news with highlights of the Milling Bidai Ceremony in Gedong District at RTC Mugulalang on Sunday. Hashtag Saluran Informasi Rakyat. Have a good night.